Hello, in this video we're going to go over how to create a pie chart using matplotlib. So I'm going to use um, this question um, as my uh, data set um, and it involves uh, lunch arrangements for school. So first things first, we're going to need to import um, matplotlib. Uh, I'm going to take pyplot from it and we're going to do, have it imported as plt. So the first thing you need to do is look at your data set and find out what the labels are, i.e. what the name of each of your um, uh, choices stroke uh, names uh, are. So we've got one, we've got one, two, three, four, um, choices here um, so each of them have has their own frequency so there's going to be uh, four segments in our pie chart so there's going to be four labels so the labels is well are um, a full meal a hot snack A cold snack, no, cold snack, and a packed lunch. Okay, so that's the labels defined. Now we need to get our uh, data. So we're going to, um, we're going to say we're going to call our data choice data. So we're going to pass in our uh, frequencies now. So that's. 200, 290, 260, and 150. So, now that you have that, we can uh, look at uh, uh, defining um, our, our colors that we're going to use because we're going to have to have um, colors for each segment. Can't have a, a bar chart, a pie chart looking all bland. So we're going to get blue, green, uh, red, and let's go for maroon um, as our colors. Um, I think M actually is magenta, but anyway. Um, and the number of colors corresponds to the number of uh, uh, choices in our label, in our pie chart segments even in our pie chart so we're going to now make the uh the uh graph now the pie chart by uh typing plot.py and we're going to pass in our data i mean sorry our um our choice data we're going to then pass in our labels but we have to do labels equals and then labels again. I'm going to make this full screen now. Um, labels equals labels. Um, now colors equals, and then our colors, pass them in as well. Uh, and we want, uh, for, the, for us, we're going to want a um, percentile of uh, the number of people who choose to have each one of the choices so we're going to work out the percentage by doing auto pct which means stands for auto percentage and we're going to make that equal to and then we're going to define a string and have that as percent one point one percent I mean F percent, sorry, um, F percent percent. So that's that's our auto um, uh, percentile uh, str uh, string. Um, how that how this works is that this is a string and the percentages are um, swapped for the actual calculated data values and. Uh, the two numbers here, one and one, um, mean that it's going to be uh, 
the values are going to be to one, one decimal place, but if we change that to two, then it'll be to two decimal places. Um, but anyway, and now we're going to put shadow equals true for our pie chart to make it look nice. And we can define a start angle if we would like to. And that and a start angle essentially rotates the pie chart um, a certain way clockwise. So uh, start angle at 140. The essentially the, the uh, Python makes the pie chart then rotates it. And that's uh, uh, the we need to see what the pie chart looks like. But if you want your pie chart to be turned a certain way that's what how you did so uh, we're also going to need a plot title so we're going to make that plot dot title and we're going to have that be um, we're going to have that be uh, what was the situation um, school lunch choice pie chart okay now the next thing is to set the plot axis to equal. Yeah, so we'll just do that now. Make that equal. Um, and we want to um, obviously save our uh, graph as a file. So we're going to save that as an uh, as a image file. So we're going to name that uh, image file school lunch pie chart um, so we're going to save that then we're going to do plot.show so we can see our um, pie chart and then we're going to do plot.clear I mean not plot.clear plt.clf um, this means that it will clear the uh, uh, graph so that you can make a new a new graph uh, without avoiding overlapping so we're going to um, run this now and see what comes up. Here we have our um, our pie chart, and as you can see, um, the percentage is to uh, one decimal place um, here. So, thirty-two percent like a hot snack, whilst twenty-two percent like a full meal cold snack pack lunch you can see and the colors match up to the uh, options there so if say we wanted to rotate this a certain angle we can put we can make the start angle um, set something so start angle so I hold on uh, start angle equals and then uh, numerical value so we'll run that now and you can see it's rotated from the previous on there. Now, an interesting thing you can do is to explode a pie chart, um, uh, and it is as cool as it sounds. So, if you define explode and then set um, uh, values between, uh, well, well, it, it, the it's essentially you're you're assigning the the degree of exploding. For a segment, so if there's four segments, you need four values. So um, here's an example here. Um, try and keep these numbers small because the higher, the the bigger the value, the more the segment explodes out. And if it's like something ridiculous, like 500, um, then you might not even see the segment on the graph because it's been moved so far away from the initial pie chart. Um, so explode so what does this mean right so all of these values set to zero apart from the first one not which is set to 0 0.1 that means that the segment for full meal will be slightly moved away from the uh, pie chart itself this means that it becomes highlighted to the um, user uh, to the person viewing it um, but before we run it, we run this. We're going to have to pass the explode values into the uh, uh, construction um, into the uh, the plot.py uh, command here. So explode equals and then explode. Now let's run this. 
And as you can see, um, the segment has been moved away from the central pie chart. Um, so we can make that and see. And since the shadows um, shadows are on, it makes it, the pie chart look a bit from 3D. Um, so I'm going to show you. Um, say we change this to not point three, so that means packed lunch will be further away from the pie chart. So if we run this again, you can see now that the segments move proportionally to the uh, value stated in the explode. Um, so that is how you make a pie chart in Python. And for um, before we go, I'll just show you the uh, image. It's um, it's it will be uh, produced uh, in the same directory as the script. So here it is as a PNG. I've just opened it in PyCharm here, and as you can see, it was what we generated before. So that that's everything I have to say for this video. Thanks for watching. Bye.